Hey kids and grown-ups, this is Sheila from Okanagan County Public Utility District, the PUD. We bring electricity and broadband internet out to our communities. This week, we're working with North Central Regional Library's virtual summer program, and I'm gonna bring a bit of science right to your screen. In this first video, we're gonna talk about static electricity. Now there's a lot of different kinds of static electricity. For example, lightning is static electricity. And maybe you've shuffled across a carpet and touched a doorknob or another person and you got a shock. Well, that's static electricity too. For this first experiment, all you're gonna need is a couple of styrofoam plates and a cloth or a rag. Now, those are all it takes to build up a little static charge on these plates by rubbing that cloth on each plate. Once you've done that, we can start the magic. And do make sure you've got a real good charge on these. I'm going to set one upside down, and I'm going to see what happens when I put the other on it. Nothing in particular until... Magic. No. Not magic, it's static. There are other things you can do with styrofoam plates and attaching them to things, especially if you've got a lot of hair. And you want to be a style trendsetter. Magic and stylish. Here's another experiment you can do at home. Grab a balloon, blow it up to about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, and then get some salt and pepper and sprinkle it out in front of you on the table. Not too much, don't make too big of a mess, don't get me in trouble. Anyways, remember how that static worked on our hair before? Do that again, get a really good charge. And not only does your hair now look fabulous, but you're ready for some science. All right, without touching the salt and pepper, wave the balloon over the top. You'll start to see things start to move, especially the pepper, which will start attaching itself to the balloon, but no salt will. Why does that happen? Because the pepper is so much lighter weight than the salt. The electric charge on the balloon will attract the pepper, but not the salt. Now, if you have a bigger balloon, well, it'll attract both. Hang on, I've gotta get my hair done. You start to wave that around, you can see how much quicker it picks things up. And both the salt and the pepper. That's because the bigger balloon has a bigger electrical charge. Well, this has been our lesson on static electricity. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I know I have. See you next time.